Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to Tectonic. Uh, and today, as you can see, we're doing an FSX video. This plane's just backing off here right next to us. So we're going to be flying in this BN2 Islander, I think that's what it's called. Uh, this is the second time I've ever used this plane. I've used it on uh, my main channel, Jack's FSX videos. Link to that is in the description if you're into more FSX. Uh, and it's going to be a 100% visual flight from here which, if we can try and get a good enough look, is, oh, the plane just landing, uh, St. Martin, or Princess Juliana Airport. Famous pictures always taken over there, uh, with planes crossing over, big 747s or something. Um, yeah, so let's just see if we can tune in on the ground. And we're going to, the active runway is that one there, it appears, so we're going to depart straight out because St. Bart's is over there, which is where we're going. I don't know if I've already said that, but it's in the title anyway, so there you go. All right, taxing hog short runway 10, that is that one, isn't it? I mean, it, I can't really see it. There it is, 10, yeah. I'd assume so, considering the plane just landed there. I find it very odd if it didn't. Right, okay, we can't go cut and cross there. No, 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 you have to go around there. Oh, I think that's because that, there's the line there, actually. So you have to go all the way around. I see. Right then. Uh, so it's 100% visual. I don't even, I'm not even using a GPS. I don't even know if this aircraft has a GPS. Let me see, actually. Uh, shift three, no. Oh, there's only two, actually. And number one doesn't do anything. Number three brings up that. So there's doesn't look like there's even a GPS for me to cheat if I were to, which I'm not going to. Don't worry. So let's just see now. We're all good to go. This add-on is from uh, Fly Tampa, by the way, if anyone is interested. Or just say it normally, interested. Alright, is that guy? Yeah, he's been cleared for takeoff, it looks like. We're just going to back up here. Doesn't look like there's any other planes due to land on the horizon. Oh, there's a police car there. It's very detailed, this uh, add-on. I definitely recommend it. And uh, this aircraft I bought from Just Flight, but I think it's a Flight 1 aircraft I'm not sure link to the, the sorry the link to it will be in the description as well as the uh, as well as the add-on itself let's just zoom back in a little bit I think there we are. yeah uh, so like I say I've only used this aircraft once before so we'll see <laughs> how good I am with it I've never actually landed on a runway with it either let alone St. Bart's which is quite a tricky one um, because the first time I used it was at um, Barron Airport, I think it's called, in Scotland, which is a runway on a beach. Well, it's actually about three run runways, I think, on a beach. So, there you go. Right, let's request that takeoff clearance. That guy's just about to go, that Beechcraft Barron. He's just getting ready to go. We've been told to hold short as expected. I wouldn't expect us to get clearance to take off at this point. He's taking his time though, isn't he? Acknowledge hold short. Britain Norman. Alpha India Whiskey. That's our call sign there. I just realised I haven't even got my uh, voice settings turned up, which I don't know if you guys like or not. There we go. Taxi into position and hold. Let's get our lights on there. and slowly move forward. I'm just trying to see that guy, there he is, he's off. Oh jeez, let's make a, let's just jump back in here I think would be a better idea. So taxi position is hold, but by the time we get there we'll probably be, get clearance to take off anyway. I would like to come here though, Princess Chigong Airport, it does look nice. But it's actually quite similar to where I am going very soon, which is the Maldives. But this is the... Oh, jeez. <laughs> I didn't realise it was a loop like that. There you go, clear for takeoff. I think this flight's actually about half an hour or something in this aircraft. Not sure. I couldn't be certain. Alright, we good then? Good to go? So bring that... that oh, what's that? Sand or something? Oh, I think that's meant to be our jet flying back, but I don't think they accounted for these uh, small aircraft. That's some weird noises as well. Very weird sound effects. 
Very realistic, but it's, it's a bit weird. Actually, this is really good in here. I haven't even got easy dock turning on, and you can still see a shake. Should probably pull up, though. That might be a good idea. Well, not quite, actually. Because I haven't got my throttle quite on full yet. Probably be a better idea. There we are. Gear up. Or not, because this aircraft doesn't bring up its gears. Big noob right there, big noob. There we go then. We are off into the air. Why are those lights on? Look, the apron lights are on. Waste of electricity. Right, so we've got to get over this big hill, so I should probably pull up a little bit more. I don't think I've ever taken off this way before. Like, ever. <laughs> I've landed that way, because that is usually always the active runway, but... I don't think I've ever... taken off before from this way. Just turn my volume down a little bit. It's a bit loud in my ears. There we go. Don't know why I bother saying stuff like that, because you can't hear it, so... It doesn't make a difference to you. Well, you can hear the sound, but you just can't hear the volume that I hear it at. You hear it at your own volume. Right, so we are currently departing straight out. There's a bit of turbulence, it looks like it. Look at that. Look at it, it's going up and down all over the place. So St. Bart's, if I remember correctly, is there. So we're going to start making our turn over to the right. Absolute jokes if it's like over there or something. <laughs> because, like I said, this is 100% visual. That's Saba over there. That's two other islands, or maybe three, I don't know. And then I'm pretty sure this is St. Bart's. You are leaving my airspace. Frequency change approved. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Right, let's tune the departure. Why not? But we're not actually... We're on a VFR, by the way, not IFR, in case you're wondering. We probably should be on an I, uh, IFR, considering we are an airline, but I just thought if we're doing a visual flight, might as well just go VFR on ATC. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right, so I said this flight would be probably about half an hour, I think. That's an estimate. Absolutely no idea. That is literally my own estimate. I didn't even look it up to get an estimate. <laughs> I'd say, I reckon, no less than 20 minutes, but no more than 35. I wouldn't even say it would take 40 minutes, definitely not 40, actually. So I'm, that's why I'm sort of estimating 30. That's what I'm sort of trying to go in the middle-ish, but I don't want to say 25, just in case. Although I don't know why I'm saying any of that, because you can just look in the uh, bottom left of your screen and it'll tell you exactly how long this episode is. But that doesn't include uh, taxi time there at the beginning does it? Or waiting to take off. So we're just going to sort of level out here. I have no idea what altitude we're even at. Um, I can't, that, oh, there we go. 3,000. I'm just looking around like I've never used, <laughs> used the instruments in this aircraft before. Where is everything? There it is. Altitude just there. That, I'm assuming, is our vertical speed indicator. I'm assuming. Couldn't tell you for certain. It just says climb, but I don't know. That's our speed. Uh, what else is there here? I don't know. Nothing else I'm going to use. Obviously, this is the main thing. What is that actually called, though? Because I always just call it a primary flight display when I'm in a commercial jet. Well, obviously, it can't be called that in this aircraft. I've never thought about that, actually. Usually, I just say, oh, this is a primary flight display. Because it's in a big square screen on an aircraft. But, obviously... On an aircraft like that, that's not a display, is it? So, I don't know. Yeah, that is our vertical speed thing, because look, it's just went up. That's zero, so that's, say, 500 feet a minute. And then if I go down, I think it goes into minus 500 feet a minute. That's the thing, that's how it's working there. Yeah, so it's a bit rocky, this flight, because like I said, no autopilot. But looking good, good in the Caribbean. Yeah, and uh, the Fly Tampa package, in case you didn't know, because obviously, if you haven't come over from Jack's videos, which I've done loads of videos 
with this airport, with Saba over there, and with St. Bart's just here. I've done loads of videos of it, and if in case you didn't know, they all come in one package together. Like I said, link will be in the description, um, and you can go and get yourself it. It comes in all one package, but you can just get St. Martin on its own, which is that one just there. You can just get Princess Julianga Airport. If you really wanted, I'm just making a slight turn to the right here, because the runway, I do know, goes like that. See, that's why it's all still... That's why you can now see, start to see trees and some buildings there already, and the rest of the island you can't, because that little section there, where you can see the trees, is where the scenery add-on is. So, I know that the runway goes in that way, so that is why we're just making a slight turn over to the right here, just so we can line up nicely. We are quite high, actually, for a flight this short. How high are we now? Where's my altitude? Oh, there it is. 4,000 now. Yeah, see, so I'd say maybe 3,000 would probably be best for this a flight like this. So we are a little bit too high, so I'm just going to decrease the throttle a little bit more than it already has been. I get on about 75, I think it was. Now I'll put it down to about 60, 55. Just so we can uh, actually just start beginning the descent down. Because we are a little bit too high. But like I said, it's VFR, who cares? <laughs> I can't think I've ever done a VFR flight on this channel before. I mean, uh, on my main channel. I've only ever done two other videos on this channel. And they were both IFR, so... <laughs> but on my main channel, which is an FSX channel, I don't think I've ever done a VFR flight. I mean, even when I've done... my... Uh, visual flights. I've done two visual flights on that channel and I, even then I think I did IFR and just tried to scare at the right altitude. I can't even remember now. I might have done VFR. Just go back and check. I can't remember. Don't ask me. But it looks very nice, the Caribbean. I'll tell you that. I would like to go to the Caribbean. Maldives will give for now. <laughs> I wonder which one... Uh, well... Actually, I don't know. I was going to say, which one's more further? Which one's further away? I, I think the Caribbean's closer. I think, because I'm just trying to think. To get to New York, it's about what six and a half hours, seven hours, or something, isn't it? So I'm assuming to get to around Florida area, it's a little bit longer. Yeah. So, yeah, I'd re definitely say this one sure, because I'm going to. Um, God, I'm still too high. Let me go again. Because uh, I'm going to the Maldives. Well, I, I'm in the Maldives right now. I think this is, will be my last day. If this is out on a Tuesday, I think it is. Or is it not? I, that could be completely wrong. For all I know, this is coming out on Tuesday the 15th, not Tuesday the 22nd. Basically, I'm back on Tuesday the 22nd. I've got no idea when I'm going to release this video yet. I need to have a look at the order. Um, so, yeah, that's seven hours to Dubai which is where we're going for a few nights first because that's where my dad lives and basically picking him up uh, and then on to the Maldives I think it's four and a half hours which so that's obviously eleven and a half hours in total so now I'm thinking the Caribbean from the UK would be maybe nine hours maybe ten because remember it'll be quicker if you went directly to the Maldives which I do think is possible on some airlines like British Airways because you haven't got all that slowing down time in Dubai, you know, the aircraft descending and all that, and then you haven't got any of the climbing and speeding up time when you take off from Dubai. You know, it's direct, so it's obviously going to be quicker than the 11 and a half hours aggregate. up. It's probably more like 10 and a half hours, maybe 10, something like that. Couldn't tell you for sure, though. So, yeah, can't be much in it, but I would say the Caribbean's closer by at least maybe an hour, if not two. Right, so there it is, as you can see. We need to definitely descend down a lot more, which is why my flaps are out, obviously, because we are just descending down on final towards the airport. I'm bringing the speed right down. 
into St. Bart's. So if you, don't, if you haven't seen St. Bart's before, it's actually a really cool airport because you've basically got a dip that goes the aircraft down right before you land because there is a little hill just there, as you can see, just before the runway. So, yeah, it does make it tricky when you're coming on this side, but what other side would you come in? <laughs> you don't want to come in the other side, that's just boring. But obviously, if the active runway is the other side, then it's a quite tricky getting the takeoff, especially if you've got a big aircraft, and you've got to go all the way down to the end. So we're going to do a, uh, we'll do a cockpit landing, and then I'll see if I can get a replay. Sometimes my replays have messed up lately. Uh, when I've tried to do them, they just... They just sort of like jump around basically, which has always happened, but it's happened more and more lately. So I don't know what's going on there, but hopefully it will be okay for this one, so that we can do a landing that is uh well we can sorry we can do a replay that is okay. Sorry about my joystick jumping around there. I don't actually move them that much, but they just seem to want to do that anyway. Like right now, it's absolutely solid skill. My, my hang on this joystick, yeah, they're still jumping around. I don't know what is up with them. Right, this is the tricky part. Because you come so close to that little roundabout, that little road with the cars and the bikes and the people walking by. And you need to dip your nose down. I have come in slightly too high on this one, but we are going to obviously dip down. and then flare that was just about a flare I think <laughs> hopefully we'll see right so and then we'll go turn the aircraft around and go and park up basically I don't even know if I did flare there it's quite tricky it is a tricky landing that one I haven't done it in so long either no excuses though. Right, here we go. Just swing this thing around. And then we'll... Uh, oh look, see there's the animated people as usual. Just scanning by, watch them. And there's apparently I'm on sand right now, as you can see the wheels there. Right, so let's just go and park this thing up. And then we'll... Uh, we'll do a replay right at the end. Usually I do them before we park up, but I won't right now. What is that sound? I'm not even going that fast. You know, we're gonna because we're greedy. We're gonna go in the main terminal. I believe you're meant to park over on the other side there, but I don't care. Oh, jeez! Turn, 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 turn. Yeah, I think you meant to park over there where those other three aircraft are. On an airline that does not exist. But <laughs> my uh, Ultimate Traffic 2 replaces it with this... Oh, four aircraft. With this non-copyright airline for the aircraft that they, do not, they don't have textures for. Or that... Where the airlines won't give them the textures because of copyright and stuff. So we're just going to park right about here. There we go. Parking brake on. Oh, that's, you hear that? It's got sound effects for when the parking brake goes on and off. That is cool. Alright, let's zoom out then. And there it is. There is St. Bart's. Pretty cool airport. And I definitely recommend the Argon if you haven't got it. We turn our lights off. And uh, let's just get that replay. Not bad then, I'd say. Not too bad. Uh, yeah, but like I said, I did come in a little bit too high over that mountain. I was about up here. You should be about here. You should literally just be scraping the top of the cars, really, to, to get down in time. But yeah, we landed. We just had a flare there, if you saw that. So that was good enough for me. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more FSX games and loads of other games on this channel. Not just FSX. Absolutely loads. So make sure you go and check them out. And that's it. Thanks for watching.